Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to discuss butterfly spread. It is an option trading strategy used by the option traders when there is no significant move in this underlying asset. The underlying asset does not move before the option expires. And it is a neutral strategy that comes with a fixed risk and cap profit and losses. So let's find out butterfly spread. Before starting the discussion in detail, I request all of you to please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. Let us find out the answers of following questions in detail. So the first question is what is butterfly spread? Next is what is the best time to trade butterfly spread? What is the structure of butterfly spread? What are the types of butterfly spread? So we will discuss in detail the butterfly spreads created from call option and butterfly spread created from put option. And then we will see the advantages of butterfly spread. And lastly, we will see some numerical questions on the butterfly spread. So let us begin with the question, what is butterfly spread and what is the best time to trade butterfly spread? Butterfly spread is a type of option trading strategy with distinct design now the question is what is this distinct design this distinct design means it is used when the stock does not have any large movement either upside or downside so that means the stock is not showing any significant move either upside or downside it is in a range bond that is the range bond movement is found in the stock for some period of time. And investor feels that large stock price moves are unlikely to happen. So let us see this butterfly. And remember your childhood days when you play in the park and you see the butterfly flying in the sky, flying up, flying down. And when you want to catch the butterfly, you wait for the butterfly to sit on a flower. When it sits on a flower, we wait for the butterfly to flap its wings and allow the wings to come closer and then we can catch it. So this, when it is sitting on a flower, it is sitting continuously flapping its wings up, open, close, open, close, open, close. So this movement of opening and closing its wings does not have any change in the place moving up or down it is at the same range bond movement and this range bond movement is used by the option traders to trade the option when the underlying asset is not showing any significant price move either upside or downside the underlying asset have a range bond movement and that range bond movement is used by the option trader to make money and they call this range bond movement as a butterfly spread. Let us understand this range bond movement with the help of monthly chart of Nifty. This is the candlestick chart. Each candle is showing the monthly candle. So here we can see that market took a dip in March 2020 with the outbreak of COVID and it fell somewhere below 7400 level after that market took a bull run it went up it took a height of almost 18500 level and then it started moving up at the same time we can also see that market took a range of almost 15000 200 and it start moving in a sideways movement stop moving down so almost for 15 months market took a sideways movement it is called the basing or a consolidation neither moving up nor moving down in this chart you can see that market is in range bond movement it is almost moving sideways 
without any significant move either upside or downside. This sideways move is used by the option traders to earn money by creating spreads like butterfly spread, which is a neutral strategy that comes with a fixed risk and cap profit and losses. So let's find out how the butterfly spread earns money for the option trader when the market moves in a range bound movement or a sideways movement. So when we see the lower time zone, this is the weekly chart of Nifty. We can see here also the range bond movement. Each candle is a weekly candle and we can see that the stock is moving in a range bond, the upper and the lower bond, and we can make money from the butterfly spread. Now moving to the daily chart of Nifty, the lower time zones. Again, here we can see this movement from upper limit to lower limit, the range bond movement. And this range bond movement on a daily chart of Nifty can help the option traders to make money by using a butterfly spread on a daily chart. Now the question is, is butterfly a normal spread or a combination spread? The answer is butterfly spread is a normal spread. It is not a combination spread. That means the butterfly spread is created either by using call options or by using put options, but not both call and put together for creating the same type of strategy. Therefore, butterfly spread can be created from both call options and from put options separately. But the use of put option results in exactly the same spread as the use of call options. The another important question that comes here is, what is the structure of butterfly spread? So if we talk about the structure of a butterfly, butterfly has a simple structure of three legs, referred to as body and wings. One, two, and three. The central leg is the body of the butterfly, while the two legs at the extreme are the wings of the butterfly, where we take three strikes to trade butterfly, that are K1, K2, and K3. K2 strike is halfway between K1 and K3. Another important point regarding the structure of butterfly is that the central strike, that is, K2 is assigned twice as many contracts as the outside strike that is K1 and K3. Now let us try to understand these three strikes K1, K2, K3 on the option chain. This is the option chain of Nifty. So the underlying is Nifty on 28th October 2022 and the expiry was 3rd November 2022. So underlying was at 17,786 level. So this is the strike. So we have to choose the strike which is very close to the underlying value. So this is the strike 17,800 which is very close to the underlying value. If we go towards the left side of the strike, it's the call side. If we go to our right side, it's a put side. So here, it is important to understand the strike, which strike is very close to the present value of the stock price, the underlying asset. So the underlying asset is nifty and the present value is 17,786. So we will find out which strike is closest to that. So this is the strike which is very closer to the underlying value. This is the option chain of Nifty. Here we have different strikes. We can see that the strike of 17,800 is very, very close to the current spot price of the underlying which is Nifty. So we take this strike of 17,800 as add the money for both call and put. Now, if we go down, 
to the strike which is lesser than the current spot price of the underlying we can find that our call is in the money but our put is out of money but as we move to the higher strikes the strike which is higher than the current spot price of the underlying we can see that our call becomes out of money and put is in the money so on this given setup we try to create a butterfly spread when we see that the market is completely in the range ball it is neither going up nor going down below this range there is no breakout situation the market is completely in the sideways movement and this sideways movement helps the option trader to make money by creating butterfly spread now we will take three strikes for creating a butterfly now let us assume that if the option trader considered that the price of underlying stock is likely to stay closer to the middle strike k2 and there would be no significant price movement the price will come near to k2 in this situation it is better to create a call butterfly or a purchase butterfly which would lead to profit if the stock price stay close to the middle strike k2 but if the option trader finds significant price movement and the price of underlying moves either side it would be better to create a short butterfly spread so the next question that comes in what is the best time to trade butterfly it is always advisable to buy butterfly when the market is less volatile because it is usually not cost effective to buy butterfly in a highly volatile market witnessing high fluctuating prices along with that buy butterfly up to 1 week in advance of expiration because at the time of expiration market witness high volatility so it is good to buy butterfly up to 1 week in advance of expiration and close them within a day or two of expiration next is do not buy butterfly spread during the week when the earnings are announced that means when the earnings are announced stocks become very volatile the stocks is most volatile at the time of earning and it jumps up and down therefore it is advisable to buy butterfly only between earning announcements now the next question is what are the advantages of trading butterfly spread the special benefits of butterfly spreads include low and defined risk low entry cost high potential profits and highly repeatable no doubt call and put on a stock can be expensive especially on a high price stocks but when you are trading in a butterfly butterfly spread solves this problem by buying and selling an equal number of options at the same time under three different strikes along with that in butterfly spread the loss is limited and that loss is limited to the purchase debit plus commission so in part 2 we will be discussing the types of butterfly spread along with its payoff table and numericals on butterfly spread if you have any question on this presentation please put your question in the comment section and like and subscribe my channel to get further notification thank you so much